Ryan Turner says, LSU's lack of depth is the main reason this team is struggling. They don't have enough bodies to keep their foot on opponents' necks. Well, sure, of course. But, you know, Florida's just, you know, they're, they're a team that are athletic in certain places, and they were able to hang around in this game because, yeah, LSU were able to get worn down in places. And, you know, having someone like Mason Smith also in there, and then you bring in Mekhi Wingo, then you have Mason Smith and Mekhi Wingo. That really wears down a front with the, with the, an offensive line. That really wears down an offensive line, an interior offensive line. really just brutalizes them, um, given, gives us options all over the place. Sorry, responding to my my uh, significant other. Isn't it great to be an LSU Tiger fan? Winning 45, 35. And, you know, Brian Kelly does it in style. Does it in style. He ran it down Billy Napier's throat at the end there. Take no prisoners, full-on offensive line, just triple, quadruple tight end look. And, you know, that's not that wasn't really the identity of the night. The identity of the night was spreading them out, throwing it. And Jaden Daniels was just making throws tonight. He was seeing the field. He was actually seeing the routes for once. Um, maybe they made some adjustments in the week. Who knows? Uh, maybe I, it looks like they at least did as far as the routes go. Um, but it seems like they made the play calling a lot easier, a lot more smoother for Jaden Daniels. One second, I'll be right back. I have to get the charger for this for this laptop. Be right back. I forgot my charger cord. We are back. We are back. Ah, shit. What top went flying? Ah, that is, it feels good to see, you know, Kayshawn getting over 100 yards, doesn't it? He scored last game. Now he has over 100 yards. Six catches tonight. Did have some drops. Did have some drops. But finally saw them getting in a rhythm with him. Jaden Daniels just, uh, what can you what can you really say? I cannot wait to see the, uh, can't wait to see his pro football focus grades because he must have made about 10 tacklers miss tonight. It was just a special – it was an incredible performance from Jaden Daniels. There was just – I mean, what, we, what, what did we see tonight? What did we just see tonight from Jaden Daniels? History is what we saw tonight from Jaden Daniels. We saw fucking history tonight from Jaden Daniels. He ran out of his mind – threw out of his mind, and just was like a man on a mission, you know? He just felt like, it just felt like he was out to really send a message, to really set a marker and say, 
this is the type of quarterback I can be. This is the type of quarterback I am. And you know what? He he definitely did that. He silenced the doubters tonight. LSU's offense really looked a lot better. This is this is almost a 180 from the Tennessee game. I know he threw for 300 yards against Tennessee, but come on. Those were not those were very fruitless yards. These are 354 or whatever, 40-something yards that are very high-octane, explosive plays front to back, first quarter to last. Um, LSU had some dips, and there were some ebb and flows in the game like there always is in modern-day college football. But for all intents and purposes tonight, Brian Kelly's LSU Tigers went in there and absolutely dominated and owned the swamp. And now Brian Kelly's the first LSU Tigers head coach to win in Jordan Hare against Auburn. Always a tough, crazy game. Always a tough, crazy environment. And then win in the swamp in the same season. And he's done it in seven games.